should be a day of celebration for Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Mnangagwa. He finally took the oath of office on Sunday, more than three weeks after being declared the winner of Zimbabwe's disputed presidential election. Now is the time for us all to unite as a nation and grow our economy. But just hours before Mnangagwa was sworn in, in front of a crowd of thousands, US election observers rained on his parade. The International Republican Institute and the National Democratic Institute said Zimbabwe lacks a, quote, tolerant democratic culture, in which political parties are treated equally and citizens are allowed to vote freely. One man who's likely to agree is opposition leader Nelson Chamisa. President Munangagwa is disputed. He went to Zimbabwe's constitutional court to challenge the election results, alleging voter fraud. That petition was dismissed on Friday, paving the way for the inauguration to take place. But the U.S. observer's comments will add to fears that Zimbabwe's election may not be the turning point many had hoped for. Now that elections are behind us, we must now focus on addressing the economic challenges facing our country. Shedding the country's pariah status is seen as key to opening the door for international money to revive a crippled economy. And while the EU has removed sanctions, except for those against former President Robert Mugabe and his wife Grace, the US has kept travel and financial restrictions in place against senior ruling party officials, including Nangagwa. And Washington support will be crucial if Zimbabwe is to get its hands on some of that much needed foreign cash, particularly funding from the International Monetary Fund.